The Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant is located 26 miles north of the Bronx in Buchanan, New York. The Bronx, a borough of 1.4 million people, is the closest part of New York City to Indian Point. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission tells Americans living in Japan to get the heck out of a 50-mile range from that, those plants at, at Fukushima. Now, 50 miles from Indian Point, 20 million people live. In looking at how radiation in Fukushima has been spreading, the question has come up again. Should Indian Point have a 50-mile evacuation plan, which would include the Bronx? There is data showing that there are levels of radiation beyond 10 miles in Fukushima that are 100 or even 1,000 times greater than recommended dosages. Supporters of the Indian Point power plant see major differences between the two plants and therefore think a direct comparison is not relevant. Well, the Japanese reactors are different style reactors. Those big domes that you see out there are built to withstand the amount of steam that would occur if there were an accident inside the reactor. Where Japan, they didn't have that containment structure. They didn't have the ability to uh, mitigate the hydrogen or mitigate any steam. And that's, that's what destroyed those buildings and made, uh, made it uh, necessary to have a larger evacuation zone. Fukushima has six nuclear power plants and six spent fuel pools. So there's a lot more material that had the potential to be emitted. Uh, you know, at Indian Point, we're two units. The chance of an accident of this sort at Indian Point are small. The problem is that the consequences to the population, to public health, to the economy are so enormous. On the other hand, even advocates of the 50-mile plan acknowledge that moving the population of the Bronx out of harm's way is not feasible. The idea that you could evacuate the entirety of New York City and every other community within 50 miles of Indian Point in less than a matter of days is insane. New York City Emergency Planning Office has evacuation plans for things like hurricanes and other kinds of disasters that probably could be invoked if there was a nuclear accident at Indian Point that involved wanting to get people out of the Bronx. If there were a problem at Indian Point and New York City needed to evacuate, the Office of Emergency Management has a plan. The Area Evacuation Plan would take effect, which covers any no-notice incident that requires a large-scale evacuation. The problem is, which way do you send them? You can't send them south and have it do much good because all you've got south is Manhattan. You can't send them east, really, because that takes you mainly out to Long Island, and that's a dead end. And if you send them north or northwest, you send them right towards the plant. So I don't think anyone believes that the Bronx, even if they wanted a plant for it, could be successfully evacuated. Everyone knows what the Cross Bronx Expressway looks like on a good day. Everybody knows what happens on the Bronx River Parkway. Everybody knows what happens on the Hutch. Everybody knows how packed those roads are on a good day. Imagine those roads on a day you have to evacuate because of a nuclear event at Indian Point. Like the first thing is like hop in a car. Whose car if you don't have a car? I'd head straight for the airport or whatever. Try and get on a boat and get out of here or something like that. You know, we're, you know, we're not going to drive across the GW Bridge and mm -hmm. head for the hills. It ain't going to work. Yeah. I would go to my brother in Vermont. He lives in Bennington, Vermont. And then I would try to fly to maybe Florida to where my other brother lives. That would be my plan of action. Yeah, but how realistic is that? It's hard to fathom any emergency at a nuclear power plant where people would need to evacuate beyond 10 miles. We're not looking at New York City ever as having to be evacuated because of a problem at a nuclear power plant. And therein lies the debate. The what-if factor that is being scrutinized as Indian Point comes closer to relicensing.